What's up, everyone? Welcome back to 30 to Life. It's your boy, Uso Ron. And today I want to talk about something that is really going to be hard for y'all to listen to, um, hard for me to talk about, but we're going to get into it, all right? I just want to say, man, that, you know, I love my culture. I'm for it. I support it. But like I told you guys from two videos ago, I'm going to be transparent. I'm always going to be there for y'all. So, you know, we're going to keep this motherfucking real always and uh we're gonna speak on it so like i said my culture man love my culture lovely culture and don't get it twisted a lot of cultures deal with this issue that i'm about to speak on but um i'm only speaking on my culture because i want to speak on my own experiences and what i've been through and what i know about all right so in the samoan culture there's a lot of chomos in the motherfucker. All right. Um, in the Samoan culture, you know, we're not allowed to talk about a lot of things. A lot of times we're told to shut up and move on. We're supposed to keep our feelings inside, you know, and just do what you got to do. Fa Samoa way. All right. So what makes it the dark side of our culture is that we have some chomos within our culture, all right, within our families and things like that. And being that that happens and we're not allowed to talk about shit, these chomos are allowed to go on forever repeating the offense on other children. And that's something I want to speak about. Uh, you know, it really pisses me off. I don't know if y'all had got to see Ellie's interview that I had with her a while back, but she spoke on this topic a little bit. And she had mentioned that when she had brought this up because it had, it had happened to her, um, she was beaten and called a liar. And to me, that's fucked up. And, but unfortunately that happens a lot in a lot of families. And, um, you know, me being here on YouTube and talking with y'all and I, I talk about a lot of things that, you know, to a lot of our peoples, our elders, you know, they're not used to hearing and they don't really like it. You know what I'm saying? So I catch a lot of flack in that sense as well. Um, but this right here, this is really going to be frowned upon and which I don't get. You know what I'm saying? I don't get how our elders will allow something like that to continue on within the family. Maybe it was just how they were brought up and, and things like that. But, you know, today in today's day and age, you know, a lot of us are realizing that the abuse and the essays, you know, that happened to us has caused a lot of trauma and also ruined a lot of our lives. So we speaking about it now. Now, I know that it brings shame onto us, but in my opinion, you know, if you don't rip the Band-Aid off and let some air get to it, it'll never heal. So we need to heal, y'all. And me, Uso Ron, was a victim of being essayed when I was a youngster. And I didn't know that that kind of paved the way or paved the path for me for many years. Um... Because nowadays, I, you know, understanding, you know, what happens to victims and things like that when when they suffer something like that, that type of abuse um, with boys, they tend to get very violent. And uh, you'll notice things like they fighting a lot in school. Um, they're running with the wrong crowd. They're starting to talk back to their parents. They no longer respect, you know, adult figures, things like that. And that was that was completely me. Um, I hated everybody that was grown. You know what I mean? Because. You know, for some reason, they like, uh, you know, they like Uso Ron's little, you know, saying booty. You know what I mean? Just keep it 100. I don't know what that was about. But, um, you know, these guys who did this, you know, were family members. Um, unfortunately, it happened to me several times. And it wasn't just guys. It was women as well that, that did this to me as well. And uh, it really messed me up, you know, and as a kid, I know me and my friends would joke around about shit like that, you know, about things that happened like that. And we would laugh and poke fun at each other. You know what I mean? Um, but 
really we we were all hurting inside you know what i'm saying and um um the more and more i got older the more violent i became the more you know reclusive or secluded i became um and i just hated everybody you know and if anybody like posed a threat to me i was sure to fuck their ass up you know what i mean and i let all that anger and aggression out on whoever um, but now today, as I'm older, I understand now that I suffered a lot of a lot of abuse. I suffered, you know, a lot of bullshit in my life. Um, PTSD. You guys know about all this shit. And I realize now that a lot of that is the cause for my actions today. So, you know, I'm very untrusting of a lot of people, especially around my own kids. I won't I don't like letting my kids go sleep anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't want my kids to be walking down the street like I'm literally on Megan's law and shit like that. And I, I'm finding these cats that are just amongst us. They're our neighbors and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not loose with letting my kids just run around unsupervised. And, uh, you know, that's what what it caused in me. You know, what I mean, it's 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 kind of woke me up to the real world. You know what I'm saying? But um, back to what I'm saying about our culture you know, with the Samoan people. Again, we aren't the only ones, you know what I'm saying? But I'm speaking on it because of the fact that it is my culture. The elders don't want us talking about anything, you know, leave the past in the past. But I got something to say to y'all, man. You know what I mean? The kids are fucked up because of that way of life and that way in our culture. And today... We need to stop being like that and really listen to our kids because a lot of our generation and we're very small, we're very small group of people in this world. And you can see it now. A lot of us are growing up in gangs. A lot of us are growing up locked up in prison, um, you know, and there's only a few of us, a handful of us that are making it into, you know, sports and uh, doing other great things. Right. But I know that our people is capable of many great things. But because of the abuse and 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 the trauma, you know, it holds us back as a people. And so now I'm opening the door for us to talk about it because we need to heal. We need to fucking heal. You know, what I mean, including myself. And that's why I'm talking with y'all. But again, a lot of people are going to frown on this. It's going to be hard for a lot of people to hear this, especially our elders but um, I hope y'all listening that that shit fucked the kids up, you know. And if you know your nephew or whoever, your brother or whoever is doing this stupid ass shit, you do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Take that motherfucker out, out back, you know, get a couple of Usos out there and smash that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Kick him in the dick. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. And like I said, it's not just the men, it's the women too. You know what I mean? And a lot of the women... That this shit happened to, they turn a blind eye when they know the motherfucker, they nephew or whoever is doing this shit. They turn a blind eye to it, which I can't really understand or agree with. You know what I mean? Especially if it happened to you. So, you know, if you know someone in your family that's doing this shit, man, stop that shit now. You know, I did a lot of time. I did a decade in prison. You know what I mean? And them type of cats, they got the business. You know, we didn't let the popos deal with them. I'm not saying to do some illegal shit, but, you know. What's wrong with a good old old school beat down? Right. So, you know, take this motherfucker out back and whoop his ass. You know what I mean? And, and, and keep him away from the kids. You know what I'm saying? And get the kids some help. Real talk. They need to talk about it. They need to talk it out. They need to get off the system, get it off their chest. Because, you know, like I said, again, it turns into alcoholism, turns into drug use, turns into violence, turns into to self-hatred, um, you know. A lot of these, a lot of these um, victims start abusing themselves, you know what I mean? Become abusers. So you want to make sure that this type of cycle stops, especially when you're fa within your family. If you ashamed of it and you don't want to talk about it, well, why not just stop the whole shit, period? You know what I mean? Talk about it and let's get together and fucking heal and fucking stop the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But if you know what's going on, stop protecting the chomo. You know what I'm saying? Handle that. That's what I wanted to get off my chest with y'all, man. And you know, y'all already know, man, I love you. 
And I'm here for y'all, man. And I'm going to be as transparent as possible with y'all, man, so we can heal together. We on this journey together. And you know what time it is. Ooh, so. Ooh.